While COVID has surely cast darkness all over our country, our Victoria Woodall has found a little brightness in a small baby boutique in Mount Airy. Tori has the story of Buddha Babe in our ongoing series spotlighting small businesses called Open for Business. Hey, Tori. Hey, Yuki. Hey, everybody. That's right. You know, light and dark, right? That is the story of life, if you will. And sometimes it's new life that gives us hope and helps us persevere. And that is exactly the case with Buddha Babe in Mount Airy. They have been this beacon of hope, just like a baby, for the entire community. Take a look. I've never seen a baby jogger with pockets. Lou can put her pacifier in it. All kinds of treasures can go in there. Rocks. <laughs> Extra Cheerios. Extra, yes. Pops. All the treasures go in the pocket. <laughs> Only at Buddha Babe. In Mount Airy, Buddha Babe is a sunny and cheerful baby boutique that carries luxe baby garments and gifts that are bound to leave mommy and baby drooling. <laughs> Snug as a bug. And in fact, it actually was baby drool that led mom and owner Tina Dixon Spence to create a stylish solution for her and her baby Baron. My youngest son, when he was four months old, he had an insane drooling problem and I had an insane styling problem. <laughs> I can relate to that. I so did hard. not want him in anything with trucks or ducks or anything blue and couldn't find anything. And so the first stage of life for Tina's business was born through her signature handkerchief style bibs. The fact that this is absorbent is huge. The bamboo fleece, it's going to hold the moisture. It will never hit the kid's shirt. But its next stages of growth, from selling online to inside of her new brick and mortar, would have to survive a pandemic. And I had just done this really great photo shoot and had all this product, all this uncut fabric, and the orders just stopped. And then my mother suggested that I needed to start making masks. I listened to her and I was like, well, if I'm going to make masks, two things have to happen. Number one, I need to make them for kids because this is a baby brand. And number two, there has to be some sort of component that's charitable. So I decided that we were going to find an organization to donate a mask for everyone that was purchased. And I let Baron, my son, pick the organization. He picked CHOP. I did this like little teaser on Facebook just with my friends and family and I got like 800 orders in three days. We were cranking out between 1,500 and 2,000 masks a week. Unfortunately, just as that happened, the city, you know, rolled out the newest set of restrictions. Unrest in Philadelphia would then block the light out for a bit more. But this babe got through that too, surrounded by a village that has been raising its spirits. I'm getting comments all the time about how, you know, welcome I am in this neighborhood and how I've, you know, brought such brightness and vibrancy to this corner and they appreciate it. And they're like, we don't even have a baby to shop for, but we just love that you're here. You know, a baby brings such joy. How amazing to feel that Buddha babe is bringing that joy yeah. to Mount Airy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, babies bring out the best in everyone. I just loved Tina's story for so many reasons. You know, life throws us so many curveballs and sometimes too many curveballs, but she just kept going and she had a great intention with partnering up with CHOP. I mean, just so many good things. And I think if, if, this story can give you anything. It's that you must keep going with a good intention and you will get good things back at you. Speaking of good intention, I had every intention of dressing Lou up in one of Tina's outfits from Buddha Bay, but she threw up all over the place. Mm. So you can do. find that outfit on Facebook and Instagram. It was absorbent. <laughs> it was absorbent. It just, right. There was a lot of it. All right. Doris, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see her next time.